Good day, everyone. Tis I, the Blue Baron, defender of traditionalism. And welcome, once again, to Sedan Tag Month. The month where, starting on September 2nd, Sedan Tag, we commemorate the memory and work for the education of people about the traditional German culture that reached its peak under the German Empire of 1871. Once again, I have been increasingly busy this year helping with family matters, so I haven't had as much time for videos. However, we're finally starting to reach some important breakthroughs with that, one of which includes improving the World War I trench replica I built last year, and another that involves beginning work on a full-size interactive World War I trench network museum. If the farmer near my house responds well to my letter asking about using his fields. I haven't sent it yet, so I don't know. But, fingers crossed, let's hope so. In the meantime, though, I am still as committed as ever to keeping this theme month alive. After all, who else is going to? This time we're doing something extra special. A while ago, I saw Country Tactical's video about building a World War I German uniform from Walmart for $69. Please watch if you haven't already, the link will be in the description. It was honestly very well done. But I still think I could do better. For only a little bit more money. I think I can make a uniform so good, I dare call it an ersatz Imperial German uniform for only 100 pounds or in my local currency, $151.70 Canadian. Or for you Americans out there, 115 US dollars. Or for you German monarchists out there, approximately 16 gold marks taking into account inflation. This would be so much easier if everyone was still on the gold or sterling standard and we had proper money again like we did in the imperialism era. Anyway, if you followed any of that, you're probably thinking that 100 pounds is still quite a lot of money. And it is, compared to $69, but when you consider that replica Imperial German uniforms go from $130 to $250 Canadian just for the tunic alone, you realize that there's room for people of multiple price ranges in here. So, if you're able to pay a little more and want something better than a costume, but not quite a replica uniform for you to wear for Halloween, airsoft, or just plain style, then just sit back and prepare to be Kaiserreich. The first issue is the tunic. We want something that's inexpensive but also reasonably similar to an Imperial German field tunic. I went with this common Swiss military work jacket that can be found at your local military surplus store for approximately $14 Canadian. Aside from the pockets being at the top instead of the bottom, the basic hardware is all the same. Plus they're made of denim, which breathes better and is easier to clean. The biggest advantage, though, is you can also easily find your southern necessities in the same place for $17.99, and since they're part of the same uniform, the colors will match. We're already ahead of Country Tactical's video just by that alone. Again, theirs was very well done, but I can do better. Now we come to the belt. Now we come to the belt. You could use any old belt, but this is meant to be an ersatz Imperial German uniform, so I'm just using my actual replica belt. Because you can get a post-war surplus belt for a $14.95 Canadian, and it's more than qualified for the label ersatz. One thing I'm not going to skimp on, though, is the belt buckle. We're using a proper replica for that, which cost around $30 Canadian. So far, we've only got a cost of $76 Canadian dollars, but we're not done yet. We can get actual field suspenders with proper belt hooks for around 10 Canadian dollars. And a costume pickle hub from Mickey Biggs Novelties for $21.99 Canadian. And with the addition of a replica pickle hub cover for $24.95, who's going to know the difference?
All right, some people will know the difference. In fact, many will, but this is meant to be on a budget. Lastly, we'll need some marching boots. And while I could wear my actual marching boots, the point of this video is to showcase a substitute. So any pair of black or brown boots will do. The cost can widely vary, but since 90% of us will already have a pair of rubber boots around the house or need to buy one anyway, I'm not even going to count this cost. One more thing before we finish. We're going to make ourselves an ersatz imperial german canteen out of a Swedish military surplus canteen for $14.95 Canadian dollars. So the grand total is $148.83 Canadian, or just under 100 pounds. Hurrah! Now let's see it in action. We're going to storm the trench outside.